Once we've created our 3D book, one of the things we could turn our attention to is to create slide styles from it. Now it's one of the reasons I've split this into three sections because the front part is a little bit different to the back part where the book starts and ends and also the pages have a slight variation there too. But there should be no reason why we can't create our entire book from three separate slide styles. So let's start at the beginning. Let's start with the book opening. I won't use the one that's dropping onto the screen. We'll start with this one. This is the one that opens up page one and two. So to begin this process, we need to open up the objects and animation screen because we've got to make sure we've got the main image settings correct. Now let's talk about main images. Main images are the images that we're going to want to select to apply the slide style to. So main images in our case are going to be slides 1 and 2 or pages 1 and 2. So if we go to the properties then page 1 I'm going to tick the box for main image and it's picked up number 1. Number 2 I want to tick the box for number two and it's done that also. With the front cover we don't need to tick the main object because we want the front cover to be a part of the slide style. So if I send you this slide style the front cover and equally the back cover are a part of the style. You just need to select a couple of images and apply the style and you've got what we have on screen here. So with those two set as main images or main objects, let's create the slide style. Selecting the correct image, I'm going to go to slide style, tools, create a style. The obvious choice here I think is 3D book. So we'll call this front and create. Now before we march on and we create another slide style for the pages and one for the end, we really need to test this. So what would we need to do? Well we need to have images the same size as our pages, don't we? So I happen to have those here, don't I? I've got a couple that I pre-prepared for an earlier video. So if I go to File, Save, to save the work I've currently got, if I go to File, New, OK, I can simulate that we're coming to a brand new project. What I need to do is to go to my 3D book artwork. I need to pick two of these. Let's pick 10 and 12. We would probably number them 1 and 2 the same as we're going to apply them in the book but for demo purposes this should be fine because when I go to my slide style here and we look at the 3D book the front tells me that I need two images and we can see here that it seems to be looking okay so let's apply it go back to the blank there and press play and see what we have. We're going to have a bit of a jump on screen actually it fades on screen. That was a bit of good fortune I think but as you can see the slide style appears to work. So let's call up our original work and have a look at making a slide style of the pages. With one of the pages opened up into the objects and animation screen I'm going to go to page one and tick the box to create one number two number three and number four again the back cover is not a main object and nor is the front cover so let's close that down go to our slide styles tools create a style and in our 3D book we need to create pages and click 
create. Now I've done a file new once again to simulate the fact that we could be coming to a completely new project to make use of our slide styles. If we look at the slide styles here, we can see or we can be reminded that to create the front we need two images, to create the pages we need four images. The one thing we need to bear in mind is that two of those four images need to be the same two that we applied there. I think a demonstration will make this a little more clear. Let's start then by bringing down two of the numbered images which is going to assure us that everything is working well. So we know we only need those two to produce the cover. So slide style, there's the front, let's apply it. A quick check to make sure it's working okay although we do still have a little bit of a fade there but that's pretty easy to turn off. So what we need to do for the pages is not to select page 3, 4, 5 and 6. We need 1, 2, 3, 4. Then to do the next one we need 3, 4, 5, 6. And for the next one we'd want 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I've dragged them all down in one go because I'm going to produce all of those pages in one go apart from the original one which is our cover. So starting with this one, shift click, slide style, pages, let's go back to the blank tell you what I'll do is I'll take off all of those transitions and we'll just have a look at what our slide style has created. We can easily put a fade back in there or create animation but there we can see 1 and 2 looks good, 3 and 4 also good, five and six also looking pretty good and seven and eight so our slide style seems to be working pretty well seem to have a little bit of a difference in slide time here but it wouldn't be too difficult to reset that to seven and we'd be done Here I've opened up my original book project to finish off with the last two slides. So what we need to do here is to open this up into the objects and animation screen. Number nine, I've ticked the box to make that number one main object and number ten, two. So what we need to do is to make a slide style of that. Tools, create a style, we'll call this our end and create. Now to bring this video to a close let's have one more try with a file new to simulate what we're doing here. We know to create the opening we need two slides one and two. Slide style, front. Then we know we need one, two, three, four. Then three, four, five, six, and so on. But I think we've got enough there to demonstrate what we need. So we need to go from the start of the pages to the end, go to our slide style and apply the pages. We've still got the transition set which is easy to remove of course. Let's just make sure one more time that we haven't made any mistakes with our slide style there we can see 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6. So it's pretty obvious what two images we need to select to create the end. We need 5 and 6 again because when we go to our slide style 
our ending requires two images and when we select it let's go back here and press play there's five and six and there's our book ending.